to my kitchen and another episode of what's for dinner it is Tuesday night after holiday weekend uh, yesterday was Memorial Day and I worked all day it was one of those you know if, if you work in an office of any kind you know that the day that you go back after a long weekend is hell <laughs> Because the phone rings off the hook, because people panic, because they thought for some reason you should have to work on a national holiday when they were off, and why weren't you at your office when they needed to talk to you? So anyway, it's been kind of one of those days, and I'm glad it's over. Tomorrow's Wednesday. That means the weekend is just a few days away, and I'm really happy about that because I'm ready for the weekend again, and I only been working one day. So anyway, we're going to make something. Whoops. <laughs> Rick thought I was going to go over there. Mm. We're going to make something called ham divan. My mom made this when I was growing up. She made it uh, not all the time, but sometimes. And this is a really easy dish. You can throw it together with what you have on hand. And we're going to make it super easy. I mean, this is a real throwback to the like 50s and 60s dinner party, cocktail party era. And, you know, who's talking? Oh, Scotty's talking. Anyway, um, it's, it, it has a little bit of a frou-frou edge to it. <clears throat> now, what I have, to, what, it, it's, it's going to be like a layered open face sandwich. And to get started, we're going to go ahead and answer Hi. the phone, and we'll be right back. I'm a dog in. Okay, we're back. I totally forgot I need to put some broccoli to steam. So that's steaming. And what I have here is a packet, is white sauce, basically. But what it really is, is a packet of country style gravy mix. Now you can make this from scratch if you want to. I really didn't feel like doing that tonight. And I had this in the, in the cupboard, so I decided to go ahead and use it. What you just heard ding was my toast. <laughs> ding, toast is done. Hmm. Okay, so what I do, I picked up a loaf of French bread, because like I said, I just want dinner done. And um, if, you, if you plan ahead, you can make your own. Or if you have some in the freezer that you've made, go ahead and use that. I sliced it about an inch thick and I toasted it. I've prepared this white gravy mix or country gravy mix, which I'm going to call white sauce because that's all this is, is white sauce. Okay. It has two cups of water and then the mix, cold water. And then because old fashioned ham divan or this recipe calls for a raw egg yolk. And what you just saw me put in there was about a half a cup of mayonnaise. Whisk that in until it's smooth. And do this before the sauce starts to bubble. You don't want it to be boiling when you do this, otherwise your sauce is going to break. So, what this is going to do is going to cause it to souffle later. Because we're going to put this under the broiler. This is a really delicious meal and it's quick and it's easy and I don't want anybody to say oh it's so fattening well you know what we're only having a little bit what you just saw me put in was a teaspoon each of onion powder garlic powder and a half a teaspoon of black pepper a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper and an eighth of a teaspoon of nutmeg because whenever you make a sauce like this you gotta have a little bit of nutmeg in it there's something about it brings out the good flavors in the sauce and Rick can just be quiet because I know what's coming next Oh, whisk that in there. I actually have this burner turned off right now because I did this ahead of time. I didn't think we needed to waste a whole lot of time showing you how to prepare a packaged sauce mix. Like I said, you can make your own white sauce. We've done that before. There's about a teaspoon of Worcestershire. And we're going to put a cup of finely shredded cheddar cheese. Okay. And get it all in there. We don't want to waste any cheese, right? And there. What I saved, I probably just dumped on top of the stove. Okay. We're going to let this melt for a minute. Move this off to the side. I'm going to get a wooden spoon because it'll be easier to stir. And, uh, you know, in true Noreen fashion, I probably needed a larger pot. But that's okay. Now, like I said, um, traditional recipes for this dish will call for an egg yolk to go into the sauce um, because that will help it to souffle the way you want it to. But you no need to do that because you know we're all busy. We lead fast lives, and sometimes you may not have an egg in the fridge. I mean, 
Most of us do. But how many of us are really going to go out of our way to freeze that extra egg white? You're probably just going to throw it down the drain or big you're going to... Big lump right there. Hmm? Big lump right there. There's a big Jeez. lump. Yeah. yeah, it'll melt down. Um, and the mayonnaise is something that most of us have on hand. And it will simulate the same result as an egg yolk. And you can use a little bit less, if you like, of the mayonnaise. You could use a quarter of a, a quarter of a cup and that would be just fine. It's basically going to enrich the sauce. And now we're going to have to taste it. Let me grab a spoon. See where we're at with this. Oh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The only thing I think I am going to add is a dash of salt. Just a little bit, less than a half a teaspoon. Stir that in. You don't want to overpower with the salt. The cheese is salty, the ham is going to be salty. Except I did actually buy low, lower sodium ham. And I'm very careful when I buy my lunch meat. Someone had made a comment on one of my videos where I made a wrap sandwich that, you know, I talk all about high fructose corn syrup and stuff. And, and yes, I'm very concerned about what we put in our bodies. Um, I think it's very, very important um, to know the ingredients that you're consuming. I am very careful when I buy lunch meat to make sure that I do not buy meats that have high fructose corn syrup and if at all possible are free of nitrates and nitrites. It's very difficult but you can do it. Okay, now we're going to come over here. I am going to go get my broccoli out of the microwave. And we're going to start building our ham divan. Let me grab my toast. And I know you're going to think I'm weird. You know, I find if you mash it down a little, you know, when you go to eat it, it's a little easier to eat. Because then it doesn't crumble all over. And I do find that since I got this toaster oven, even though it toasts slightly, it's very crunchy. <laughs> it does. And at this point, I'm going to turn my oven on broil. And we'll start to build. Here we have a low sodium honey ham. This is actually Sarah Lee. I'm just going to lay these out here. You don't want to be too stingy, but you don't want to... My mom used to make this with a, with a thick slice of ham, and that is absolutely your preference. If you choose to do that, go for it. If that's what you have in the fridge or left over from Easter, then go for it. This is a great post-holiday dish, and this is usually when my mom would make it post-holiday. But I think that two slices of this thin ham is plenty for this dish. We're going to pair this up with a nice green salad. And that's all we're going to have for dinner. And yes, I'm using my hands. This is my frozen broccoli. You can certainly feel free to steam yourself up some um, fresh broccoli. Like I said, it's up to you. Don't overthink it. This is Tuesday night after a holiday weekend. Most of us had a really busy day today. And uh, why kill yourself? But we still want to put a good meal on the table. And we still want it to look nice. We want it to taste good. We want it to be nutritious. 
and I think this fits the bill. I really didn't know what I was going to cook for dinner tonight, and I thought all about that on the way home, and this popped into my head. Ma, I haven't made this in a very long time, and my mom hasn't made this in a very long time either. <laughs> And unlike the chicken divan, which is more of a casserole, this of course is an individual serving. Um, this is a nice, nice luncheon. Um, do ladies still luncheon? I don't know. Maybe at church. I'm not sure. But this would be a lovely luncheon with a nice little side salad and a tall glass of iced tea. Now. Here we have our sauce. I'm going to grab my gravy ladle because this will be perfect. And you just kind of want to lay that sauce right over top like that. Would it be easier to get on the other side of me? Mm, not necessarily. It started to rain quite a bit here because we've Hurricane Burl coming up the coast, which, well, Tropical Storm Burl. Yeah. He's not a hurricane, and he's starting to dissipate now, so. Yeah. And you'll see that this one package of gravy mix with the one cup of cheese and the additives that we put in here, if I just distribute this atop these, and I have seven pieces here, I could have easily done eight. Um, if I'd spread the ham out just a little bit differently, uh, you could make it work. This will we'll have a leftover. I'll take some for lunch tomorrow. Now, I've got my oven set to broil. And I don't have it that close to the heating element. Whoops. But we're going to go ahead and let that kind of souffle up just a bit. And when this is ready to come out of the oven, we'll come back. It's going to take about five minutes. I'm just finishing up a salad to have with our dinner. Simple salad. And I got a cucumber. I don't know why I put that back in the sink. But our, our he wanted to say chicken demand. My cucumbers aren't coming out of the garden quite yet. So I have an organic English cucumber. I know Rick won't eat the cucumbers. Okay. He'll pick them out. They don't like me. I know they don't. Okay. Let's get this out of the way. All right. Our little ham divan souffles are all done. And don't they look pretty? Oh, I can't wait to try them. Let me grab a plate. I have the molly and everything. It's an old, old radio show, and he called Fibber McGee and Molly. And every time Fibber McGee had to open his closet, it was like watching Jolene Sugarbaker search for her pots. Let's find the prettiest one. There, that has that. And then we pair that up with a little salad on the side. A little tomato, a little cucumber, and the dressing of your choice. And there you have it. Quick and easy, hand divan, a throwback to my childhood, and also to dinner parties 
circa 1958. So I hope you give this a try. And I also wanted to mention, if you need a quick cheese sauce and you don't want to buy cheese sauce out of a can, I mean, we don't really know what's in that, but if you want one, but you don't want to make it from, you know, from scratch with the white sauce and the cheese and blah, 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 do what I just did. Leave out the mayonnaise. You've got a quick cheese sauce. Throw that over some pasta or uh, over some broccoli and cauliflower. You've got a quick side dish. So I hope you try it. Hope you love it. And until next time, I'll see you.